So, in today's video, we'll be discussing a little bit about Muppet Vision 3D and, most importantly, taking a look back at all the Muppet Vision 3D merch that I've collected throughout the years. So, what are we waiting for? Let's talk about it! So here's a little bit of history about Muppet Vision 3D. In 1991, I feel like we all should know this one, Muppet Vision 3D made its debut. Muppet Vision 3D is a show attraction that features audio animatronic characters with theater special effects. The attraction was introduced along with the Stage 1 Company Store that features also Muppet merchandise. Muppet Vision 3D was and is still a huge hit. The attraction was recreated for Disney's California Adventure Park in 2001 for California. And for the opening of DCA's Muppet Vision, Kermit was actually there. DCA decided to close their Muppet Vision attraction on November 1st, 2014. The Walt Disney World attraction is still up until this day, it's still running, it's still kicking butt. If you have air in your lungs and you're still breathing, what are you doing? Please go check it out, please go see it before they decide to close that. I'm pretty sure you guys have either heard or are hearing currently all the rumors and speculation surrounding Muppet Vision 3D at Walt Disney World. So pretty much here's the breakdown of all this controversy. Recently at the D23 Expo, they announced a new Monsters Inc. type roller coaster ride will be coming soon to Walt Disney World. And unfortunately, we're looking at the two pieces of concept art, one that's old and one that's newer. It's kind of hard to tell with this exciting news of this new monster ride, which concept art is depicting the right image. But the two big controversial pieces are these here. First, there is this piece of concept art that shows it very much going in a area similar to Animation Courtyard. And then there's the second piece of concept art that is so clearly the Muppet Vision Courtyard, it makes me nauseous. You can find little details from both concept arts that kind of plant them in different parts of the park. And it's so clear that it's either Animation Courtyard or Muppet Courtyard. But which one is it? The main problem is that Disney isn't really being clear on what area is getting taken over with this new Monsters ride. It was kind of a vague announcement with not a lot of info added or given. Not to quote Monsters Inc. So because Disney has neither confirmed nor denied can neither confirm nor deny the these rumors of said where this new Monsters Inc. ride is going, this has everybody kind of in a flurry and up in arms because it is such a beloved attraction. And not only that, it is the last attraction and the only attraction that Jim Henson worked on, got completed, doesn't still justify the means for Muppet fans on why you would just get rid of Muppet Vision, where there's a lot of controversy over that, where some people think, no, it's just rumors, don't lose your mind about it. Some people are feeling like, well, if it does go, it's old, no one really goes to visit anymore, which is not true because a lot of Muppet fans still to this day love to go visit it. There's even like fan merch about Muppet Vision 3D and like all this other stuff. To be honest with you guys, I have my own personal thoughts what I think of the Disney-owned Muppets. And even if this just all is a big nothing, it's good to get these discussions out there and going to let the company know that people care about Muppets. And for those of you saying, ah, no one cares, what's the big deal, blah, 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 blah. Well, if that's the case, then why are they still selling Muppet merch at the parks? Why are they still have Muppets on t-shirts and they're pushing Muppets within some holiday shows and stuff like that? So if somebody cares, the more that Muppet fans push for Muppets to be featured in the parks the correct and right way, I do think in the future, for however much time we have, that they're able to be showcased in the right light if produced and honored right and led right by the right people. But it is good that Muppet fans are getting involved right now to make their voices heard, to let Disney know, hey, we do care about the attraction and whatever you decide to do with it, even though we don't agree with it, we would like to see it preserved and kept in some way, shape or form in some place or thing that can honor it in the best way or ability without completely destroying it and getting rid of it and just kind of kissing it goodbye like they did in DCA. If you would like to know more information on the recent news, there are tons of others out there who have made in-depth videos on the subject. I highly recommend that you guys check out the video by WDW Pro and go check out the recent video that was made by the Disney Van. Uh, they both do an awesome job covering everything going on with Muppet Vision. Uh, links to both videos will be in the description below. Let them know that Justin Talks Puppets sent you. Family and I love collecting magnets from different places that we've been and stuff like that. And at the time, when Muppet Vision 3D was out here at California Adventure, we ended up buying this awesome Muppet Vision 3D magnet that is Miss Piggy, Kermit, and Fozzie all up on it. And that's very reminiscent to the sign that was in front of the attraction. And uh, very cool. Glad we kept it. Next, we have this vinyl Muppet Vision piggy bank from 2003. Super cool. Super awesome. I remember them selling these in the parks. And uh, pretty much almost 
every Muppet fan has one if you can get your hands on one for an affordable price. These guys are pretty pricey online. So you have Piggy, Kermit, and Fozzie, just like how they were on that magnet that I showed you guys earlier with the Muppet Vision 3D sign. And what's really cool is at the bottom here, it says Jim Henson's. So I think that's awesome. A little tribute there to Jim Henson. Super cool and very reminiscent, of course, of the attraction. And then we flip it on the back here and uh, even more cool because it pays homage to uh, Beaker, Bunsen, Gonzo, Bean Bunny, and Waldo, which is pretty cool. So um, two Steve Whitmire characters on here, which I think is awesome. And of course, eventually Steve would become Kermit. But uh, I think that's awesome how, you know, again, just that little tribute and like they're kind of breaking through the wall here uh, after, you know, uh, chef blows a cannonball right through the screen. Both Muppet Vision 3D attractions had some really cool merch, but their plush game was on it. They had pretty much a good majority of the Muppet cast from Kermit, Fozzie, this piggy, Animal, Gonzo, pretty much almost the whole gang, and even some background characters as well. Um, the ones that we were able to find or collect from that time, I believe Beaker is actually uh, from when we went to the parks. So there's Beaker in his uh, Muppets lab coat and he's looking kind of crazy Bunsen also came with him but for some reason I think I remember just really liking Beaker uh, at the time is Disneyland and Walt Disney World and this is the official Disney Parks merch there's the Muppet Vision 3D tag right there I ended up finding this Bean Bunny at a local thrift store which I thought was awesome and uh, you know if you can find Bean merch it's pretty impressive this is a cool plush all decked out in his classic look from his ears to his feet. And there he is right here. And then on the back there's his tail. Is that it says Disneyland Resort. So there's the old school Disneyland Resort logo. And then if you didn't know his name. Bean Bunny. And then on the back here we have. Once again Muppet Vision 3D. Here's the Muppet Vision 3D Rizzo the Rat plush. And we actually got him from California Adventure. My mom was also a big Rizzo fan. So she ended up getting this little guy, and here he is with his uh, little backwards cap, his jacket that says Rizzo. So it's like embroidered on his jacket, which is pretty cool. His iconic little white t-shirt there. There's his feet and his hands, and he's like, hey, hi there, hello there, welcome to my park. So uh, his face, very well made. Um, and then uh, we still have the tag on from when we got him. So there's the classic Muppet Vision 3D logo, just, just you know. Jim Henson's Muppet Rizzo Rat. How much he was at the time. The tag says Walt Disney World because they also did sell these at Walt Disney World for a time. But then there's it. There it says right there his name, Rizzo the Rat, Rizzo Rat. And then there's the classic Muppet Vision 3D tag as well. So this guy is also, I wouldn't say very hard to find, just pricey online. A wide variety of different Muppet pins. Of course, the one that relates back to Muppet Vision is Rizzo dressed in his little Mickey uh, costume uh, when he comes out. And Gonzo's like, hey, telling Sam Eagle we have a special guest. The one and only Mickey Mouse. And Rizzo comes out and says... <laughs> Again, reminiscent to Muppet Vision with his Mickey costume. I'm trying to remember if this was also related back to Muppet Vision, but it's kind of escaping me. So if anyone knows, definitely let me know in the comments below. If not, it just reminds me of that. I also have another pin here where it is from Disney World, which is Disney's Hollywood Studios. And there's Kermit's face on the clapboard. But they made like little cases, kind of like what this is right here, a pin trading case. And then, you know, for this special one, it was called I Collect the Muppets, the Muppets pins. So right there, you can see like uh, the Mickey face and then through the little window, you can see the Muppet pins. But what's really cool is you can actually open this up. And when you do, you can see all the Muppet pins that at a time you could collect, can collect, all that type of stuff. We have Piggy, Fozzie, Animal, Gonzo, Dr. Teeth, and Ralph. But most importantly, that main pin right there with Kermit, Muppet Vision 3D, which is awesome. And I know for some of you, you might say this doesn't count, but when I used to take Gonzo into the parks, I used to have him wear like little badges, uh, you know, knowing that he had his own little like press badge to go into the parks. So my dad actually ended up making this and uh, it's a Muppet Vision 3D press pass that says the great Gonzo, a little barcode right there. And I remember walking around with it and everybody thought it was so cool. So definitely just a little nod as well to our time going and taking Gonzo and you know, just even though it's made by us, uh, something cool to have.
All right, so here we have a older, not old, old, but old enough, uh, Disney California Adventure Park map. And yeah, you can tell it's older as of the time because Playhouse Disney level stage is no longer there. Bugs Land is gone. Tower Terror is still there and all that stuff. If you're, if you're familiar with Disney California Adventure, a lot of this stuff is not the same. So, but what's really cool is we take a little zoom zoom. Uh, here's Muppet Vision 3D still added onto the map. If you go over here to number five, Muppet Vision 3D, watch Kermit and Friends in 3D. So very cool, very glad to have some of these older maps because like I said, a lot of the a lot of these older attractions are now gone, especially Bugs Land and Plus Disney Live on stage and even California Screaming is now the Incredicoaster. So very cool to see Muppet Vision 3D for the time, at that time, still on the map. Leave me a comment below letting me know what are some of your favorite memories of seeing Muppet Vision, whether you saw it on YouTube or you've seen it in person or you got to experience just the attraction itself. Let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear your thoughts. I would even love to hear your thoughts, even what you think is going to happen to Muppet Vision 3D. Hey, thanks so much for watching this awesome puppet related video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please do me a favor and go check out the next one right here on the screen. Kermit Animal and I think you will enjoy it and we'll see you over there. Until next time, take care and have an awesome day.